Hi, it's me again, and I've got some more evidence for you today that the BBC have no idea what they are doing. I've got this story for you today. It's about exported TV shows, so the shows that we sell to other countries. Take a look at this, and then I'll talk to you about why I think the BBC have no clue what they're doing. Despite the current health crisis affecting production in the UK, producers were able to use their back catalogues to boost sales. Well, BBC know a bit about using their back catalogue, don't they? Because that's all they show. With a third of all sales made up of library content over four years old, up from 22% on the previous year. Drama continued to make up the bulk of international sales, accounting for 53% of export revenues, an increase of 5% compared to the previous year. And factual shows like MasterChef, for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Dragon's Den remain consistently popular across the globe, accounting for 15% of TV exports. Yeah, not the most exciting article, obviously, because it's from a trade paper to do with television production companies, and that's their bag, that's, it's not our bag, obviously. But the interesting part there is that selling the shows abroad is making money. And 53% of export revenues came from selling drama shows. Take a look at this story that I spoke to you about previously. BBC could make fewer dramas and show more repeats as budget cuts bite. The BBC could be forced to replace expensive high-end dramas and natural history shows with cheaper programmes owing to government-imposed funding cuts. Now, I'll put a link to that video about this story that I made below. Go and have a look, because I called it out as complete nonsense. What is the BBC doing with your money? And they're not going to stop trying to make drama shows. They're not going to make any good drama shows, because it's all owned now. By Netflix and the ones Netflix can't make they buy that's what that export story was all about but how can the BBC stop making drama series when 53% of British TV exports are drama and the BBC are in the business of making money through their BBC Studios special sub company which is commercial and very profitable they own a lot of independent production companies they've been buying them up I made a story about that as well if I can remember I'll I'll put the link down there. They've been buying up independent television production companies because not only can they use these shows on their BBC channels at a cheaper rate than if they'd had to buy them themselves, but they can also now sell those shows to streaming services and TV channels all around the world. It's all a big scam. And the BBC is saying they need more money. It said there at the bottom of that article, didn't it? Where is it? Uh, owing to government-imposed funding cuts. You get over 3.2 billion quid every single year, BBC, and you're telling me you can't make shows for that. And the shows that you do make, you can sell around the world to gain some of that money back that you spent making the shows. You're out of excuses, BBC. Why do you need the 159 quid a year if you're not doing the things you need to do with it to keep your company afloat? Other channels manage it, why can't you? It's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? It's ridiculous. So that article continues to say, sales to streaming services continue to grow, accounting for almost half as 44% of all finished program sales, up from 38%, while more than half of distributors surveyed have sold a program to Amazon Prime or Netflix in the last financial year. So nearly half of all the sales of the exported TV shows from UK companies, which includes BBC, BBC Studios, went to Netflix and Amazon Prime and other streaming services in the States like Hulu and stuff like that. But what makes it interesting is, it said there, didn't it, um, a third of all of those sales were made up of library content over four years old. So have you had a look at Netflix recently? Look at BBC stuff on Netflix, which you can watch without a TV license, no problem at all, but you'll find all the old Only Fools and Horses on there. I think the old royal families are on there. The office is on there. The British version is on there. A lot of the Attenborough stuff was on there. That's all been sold to Netflix. The license to show that was sold to Netflix from the BBC. Now, those are shows that you paid for with your TV license fees, and the BBC sold them for commercial profit to the streaming services. And don't forget, they show all the Only Fools and Horses and Top Gears and that on UK TV, like Gold and Dave and that. And you paid for those shows, and they are putting them on there at a cheap rate and selling advertising on them and making a profit from that. They're raking it in left, right, and centre. It's time to end this ridiculous licence fee. They've got no respect for you or your money. 
They say they're going to make less stuff because government imposed budget cuts. Over 3.2 billion quid a year. And you're selling stuff all around the world. And it's still not enough for you. How much is enough, BBC? How much money do you need for it to be enough? Because people are getting fed up with you. It's time to axe the stupid tax that they're putting on the British people. It's crazy, isn't it? So if you haven't already cancelled your TV licence, maybe me chatting about it has persuaded you. Have a look in the links below and all the bumps I put down there. You'll find one called What Can You Watch Without a TV Licence. Now, I reckon you can probably watch 90% of the stuff you'd watch anyway without a TV licence. If you've already cancelled your licence, brilliant, proud of you, share that video with more people because loads of people still think that if you own a telly, you have to have a telly licence and that video will help persuade them otherwise. We might get a few more cancellations, eh? Also, let me know what you think of this story down in the comments below and we'll try and have a chat about it as always. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.